Scientists have uncovered the remains of a massive stone structure and other artifacts, estimated to be 4,000 years old, in a remote corner of Antarctica. The find, announced at a press conference here today, is the first evidence of ancient civilization on the icy continent and is being hailed as one of the most important archaeological digs of the century. Working in dwindling light just before Antarctica's first sunset of the year in mid-February, a team led by geologist Scott Hamilton of Wyoming State University came across the rubble of a stone building roughly the size of Rome's ancient amphitheater. A researcher told the news one of my students tripped over a squat pentagonal block while we were hiking up near Doubleday Glacier. Doubleday has been receding at an estimated 3 meters per year for the last century, and the last geologic expeditions visited the site in the 1920s. Previous researchers could have easily missed it, the team worked deep into March, well after the normal end of the field season. He added and of course the anticipation of what we'd find the next day. So far the researchers have uncovered the foundations of a massive columned structure that may have stood as high as 30 meters, says group member Harvey Sampson, who last year had proved by DNA analysis that Piltdown Man was not an elaborate hoax but in fact the skeleton of the murdered Saint Nicholas. Antarctica's bone-dry atmosphere has also preserved many artifacts, including coins that feature penguins and an unknown reptile, peanut shells. The find has stunned experts, who had presumed that no person had set foot on Antarctica until the 1800s. Leading archaeologist, Ashikit Tripathi, of the Department of Archaeology at the University of Calcutta believes the images show clear evidence of an ancient human settlement beneath the ice sheet. These are clearly features of some sort of human-made structure, resembling some sort of pyramidal structure. The patterns clearly show nothing we should expect from natural geomorphological formations found in nature. We clearly have here evidence of human engineering. The only problem is that these photographs were taken in Antarctica under two kilometers of ice. That is clearly the puzzling part, we do not have any explanation for this at the moment. As of now we can only speculate as to what these features are but the launching of ice sat to and could lead to other major discoveries and a better understanding of Antarctica's geomorphological features.